Welcome, welcome. Sonic720 Justin here. As always, the most important thing first, which is the gospel, which can be found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. The gist of which is that you must believe from your heart that Jesus died for your sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And I say believe from your heart because Romans 10, 9 through 10 says that if doubt thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Further, Ephesians 1, 13 through 14 says, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. And the word earnest there means guarantee. And so this is basically saying, what you believe from your heart, the gospel which is here in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, and that belief is not a vain belief, but a true belief from the heart. Then the Holy Spirit comes and seals you unto the day of redemption as a guarantee. And Ephesians 4.30 further says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. So there's the guarantee. Okay, just wanted to do a really quick video, hopefully today. Um, I had kind of an epiphany as I was sleeping, and I woke up for a minute or so, and then I fell back asleep, but as I woke up, I realized something was being given to me regarding the 12-12 I talked about previously in Revelation. Now I'm still kind of fuzzy on what the fullness of it was, but then as I've been awake later in the day, parts of it uh, started coming back to me and I pieced together the main gist of what I was receiving was that Revelation 12 and Daniel 12 are pointing to the same events. And there's your 12, 12 in that regard. Right, because you got Daniel 12 and Revelation 12 besides Revelation 12:12, 12, 12, as I talked about in the previous video, and we can see that where it talks about in verse 7 Michael and his angels, and then the same thing in the start of Daniel chapter 12, where it says Michael stands up, and then you can see in verses 2 and 3 it's talking about a resurrection event and the rapture event and the same thing is being talked about here in Revelation 12 verse 5 the additional information we're being given in Revelation is about the dragon which is in Daniel 12 so we can see how the dragon fits into this into the timeline and then we're also told that the dragon's one of the three woes and he has a short time here in verse 12 and that short time lines up perfectly with the times with the time times and half a time here in verse 7 of Daniel 12 and it's specifically talking about accomplishing all of the things Which then the epiphany hit me, the all of the things that it's talking about here are actually everything leading up to the Antichrist or man of sin figure setting up his kingdom on the earth before we reach Revelation 13 and the events of Revelation 13. Which is why I highlighted in red these wonders and he understood not, so Daniel didn't understand it, but then he asked the question, what shall be the end of these things? So this is now delineating from the beginning of the things leading up to the point of the start of Revelation 13. And that's the point where he, the Antichrist or man of sin becomes the beast, 
because he dies and is resurrected. And so now he's asking him, what shall be the end? What comes after that? But unfortunately, Daniel is told to close it up and seal it until the time of the end because he's not going to be given the fullness of the the vision at this point in time. It's going to be left for those that are living through that time, which is now and us. <laughs> but he is given a couple of clues in verses 11 and 12. And verse 10 tells about the purification that we're, we, we see in Revelation and the tribulation saints and all of that and the wicked doing wickedly. And those that are being purified will understand, but those that are doing wickedly will not understand. Well, verse 11 then is basically saying there's going to be 1,290 days from the time the abomination of desolation is erected on the Temple Mount. And like I've explained in the previous video, the daily sacrifice there can simply be referring to the gospel of grace being taken away, in other words, the rapture, because the born-again believers are gone. So then we have that amount of time from that, but then it speaks about uh, 1335 days in verse 12 and that there's a special blessing for those that wait and arrive at the 1335 days and let me show you what I found with this epiphany I had so the epiphany is thus the Revelation chapter 12 uh, Revelation 12 a sign as we call it of the woman in heaven that's clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head is the crown of 12 stars. Well, we know that happened on September 23rd, 2017. That's already an established fact. It's been witnessed. That's, I believe, the true sign of Revelation 12, meaning that the beginning of Daniel 12 started from that sign in that the how long till the end of these things shall be with the wonders um, and then like I said that's just leading up to the man of sin or antichrist getting to the end and then eventually it's going to shift over into the actual tribulation or Jacob's trouble or Great Tribulation, or whatever you want to call it, which I believe will be 1335 days total. So if we go to time and date here, and we do a little calculation, if we add in the 1260 days from 923-2017, which is time times and half a time, takes us to March 6, 2021. Now, obviously nothing super spectacular happened that day. I mean, there were some significant events that happened then, like the outrageous uh, spending bill in the U.S. and a lot of stuff related to the Rona. But uh, there was nothing in particular that happened that day because it wasn't supposed to be the end that day. That was a time marker. And let me show you why it's a time marker. So yeah, if you add the 1335 there to that particular date of March 6, 2021, it is October 31st, 2024, or Halloween 2024, and we had the COP26 take place October 31st 2021 so that'd be three years to the day of this climate change thing with Pope Francis where he's asking people to pray for the earth 
And it all has to do with his Laudato C. Just all a blasphemous creed about saving Mother Earth rather than looking to Father God to save you. And if you look at the actual COP26 or UN Climate Change Conference UK 2021, here you can see the October 31st to November 13th of 2021 held in Glasgow, Scotland. And just look at the image here of the Earth. It looks like all this wind swirling around. Doesn't that remind you of the four winds that's talked about in Revelation, as I've talked about previously? The four winds being held back and the four horsemen. And so I can potentially then place the four winds being unleashed and the four horsemen being fully unleashed on October 31st, 2024 with this calculation that I just showed you. Also of note, they said they put it in Glasgow because of its anti-Iraq war marches in 2003. And remember, I talked about the Iraq war in the previous videos and how the Iraq war was on March 19th. Shock and awe, 2003. And you can see how everything's coming together. Anyway. So you got a 1260 plus 1335 from Revelation 12 sign. Get you to... 1260 gets you to, to uh, March 6, 2021. Then 1335 gets you to October 31st, 2024. And that date, I believe, is going to be the date of the Abomination of Desolation. And this is when the beast will stand in the holy place, whether there's a rebuilt temple or not. I don't know. There may or may not be. But I believe that'll be the date. Because look at this. So remember Daniel 8.14? Remember how it says 2,300 days or 2,300 evenings and mornings? And remember how I told you in the previous videos it's really 1,150 actual days because they do two sacrifices a day of the lambs. And that's really referring to the twice daily sacrifices. Saying, so saying 2,300 sacrifices or 1,150 days worth of sacrifices. Well, look at this. If I go from what I believe to be the abomination of desolation taking place on that three-year anniversary of the COP26 on 1031 or Halloween 2024, and I subtract 1,150 days from that date, it takes us to Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. And why is that date important? Well, because that was Rosh Hashanah in Israel. So that's when they celebrated Rosh Hashanah and Virgo or the woman. Let's talk about in Revelation 12 was also part of that uh, cycle of the astrological signs right then, right there, the zodiac. Now, I subtracted that just to show you there's that significance. However, I believe it's going to be moving forward from that date, obviously, because that's the abomination date, that there'll be 1,150 days until there's a cleansing, when the actual cleansing will occur. Well, look at what happens when I add 1,150 days from this date of 10.31.24. The result is Saturday, December 25th, 2027, or Christmas Day in 2027. Now that's pretty amazing. That blew me away. So we got Rosh Hashanah going backwards, and then we got Christmas Day going forwards from a Halloween in the middle 
which is an abomination of desolation, right? Halloween, Day of the Dead, COP26. Everything's making perfect sense to me now. But you say, well, wait a minute. If it's 2024, then when's our rapture? And that's that's the uh, million dollar question, right? Well, unfortunately, I don't have the answer to that one. At least not right now. What I do know, however, is I believe this is going to be the abomination of desolation date. And this is going to be when the beast rises, potentially, because of that. However, it doesn't have to necessarily be one in the same day, because obviously there would be some space of time for him to rise and you know come back from the dead and all that. But I believe the desolation will take place on this day where he declares himself God. So the question then remains, uh, you know, how many days before then will he actually go down and be resurrected and will we go up and that's what we're trying to figure out but I think I just found out what the the way that the numbers work into the timeline if you will and how how much more times remaining on the clock so to say until Jesus returns and I think Christmas Day 2027 is when we return with him, as I just showed you right here. Because that's the day that the area is going to be compl complete, completely cleansed, and therefore, for it to be cleansed, we would have to be back here with Jesus for that to happen. So, if it's desolated or desecrated, on Halloween of 2024 and it's cleansed there on the December 25th 2027 then that makes the rapture imminent because we don't know at what point in time we're going up in between all of this and you see the people are saying I mean, the people that are saying there's seven years of tribulation and the people that are saying that there's uh, three and a half, we're both right. Because there's seven years, roughly, from the time we leave to the time we get back. And there's three and a half, or this 1335 uh, total that got us to this uh, abomination of desolation date. Because of uh, the adding from the 3-6 date of 2021. 1335. And so the question remains for me, do we have to wait until that time in 2024 to leave? I don't know. But we can leave any time before then. And I believe there's got to be some gap of time between when the abomination is set up, obviously, and when the beast that, you know, he dies and is resurrected and then takes power and all that. So there's the uh, April 14th, 2024 eclipse over America. The solar, great solar eclipse that'll make the X marks the spot with the other one from 2017, I believe, in August as well. So that could be basically the downfall of America fully then. And then from April to October is when the beast fully arises. So does that mean we leave April 2024? I don't know. It's a possibility. 
one that's kind of scary to think about because how the world is at the current moment and we don't know how bad things are going to get in the interim if we're still here to that length of time. Still obviously holding out hope that we're going this year. The high watch for uh, the Purim has now essentially passed because I'm recording this at uh, it's about 9 p.m. now at on 318 Eastern Time. So I think we're here at least until what I believe to be true Passover on 516-ish of 2022 because the locks and the clock are off and they're off a month still. So they're going to be celebrating Passover Resurrection Day in April, but I think the actual real ones are going to be coinciding with the super blood moon eclipse that are going to be happening with uh, the one in 516 in May and the re that would put the real head of the year or Rosh Hashanah for the actual uh, new year for Israel to be on the 1st of May if that's correct rather than on the 1st of April and or thereabouts. And so the reason why I say the seven year and the three and a half year are both correct is that clearly the seven years, um, there isn't seven years left in time. Because if we are going to be back in December 25th, 2027, that's less than seven years from where we are today on 318-2022. It's only... Uh, a little over five, five and a half years. But remember, as I showed you in Revelation 12, he has but a short time, 12, 12. So his time is cut short. And God also says, for the sake of the elect, for those that are the remnant Jews and the elect during that time of the tribulation period, God is cutting the time short, so it's not going to be the full seven people we're believing it to be. But there's still going to be this semblance of the seven in, in that people are looking, starting from uh, September 23rd, 2017, and then looking more seriously from 2020 on and all that, right? And then obviously the May 14th of last year, people were looking a perfect seven from that date to 2028 would have made perfect sense as well. But you see, God's ways are not our ways. They're above our ways. And this is his mystery playing out. And I believe I just decoded how these numbers are supposed to fit into it and how it's supposed to work out in that regard and how the abomination of desolation fits up perfectly with the COP26 and Lodato C Creed that was on Halloween 2021 going to 2024. Also of note that I found is if you add the 1335, the digits together, one plus three plus three plus five, you get 12. So there's your Revelation 12 and Daniel 12 or 1212 when you add them together. I thought that was kind of cool. Also, if you add them uh, in a different way, so if you add them in 13 plus 35, you get 48. And if you add then 4 plus 8, you get 12. So you have your 12, 12 in that regard as well. So again, wanted to make this a relatively short video. Uh, I'll just show you this revelation here and how I believe I found the abomination of desolation date. And then that just puts basically a question mark in where do we leave? Do we have to wait till 2024 or do we still leave this year or anywhere in between then? I don't know. That's the, still the million dollar question mystery. 
but I know this is the time to then sanctify the area, cleanse the area, justify the area, which means the second coming is going to be December 25th, 2027, potentially, if this is all correct. And then let's see what uh, a 1260 would come up. So a 1260 from 10-13-2024 gives you April 13-2028, which would probably be some somewhere around Passover. And then a 1290 would get you May 13, 2028, which again would be either Passover or un Unleavened Bread or whatever, right? Uh, could be Feast of Weeks. But you can see how it's all falling on appointed times. And then again, if you add 1335 again, from that 1031 2024, you get June 27th, 2028, and that could then be, again, Feast of Weeks or Pentecost, somewhere in that neighborhood. So no matter what numbers you plug in, you're getting various appointed times, and even the December 25th time, some speculate that's when Jesus was conceived in the womb by the Holy Spirit with Mary. Because then if he was born in uh, September, roughly, uh, to be at Tabernacles then, to Tabernacle with us, or Trumpets, or somewhere in that area, that would give you the roughly nine, month, nine months of gestation from conception. And then, therefore, his conception could easily have been December 25th or thereabouts, if you get what I'm saying. So it can line up perfectly in that regard. And yes, I'm well aware of the copying of that with the fact that it's believed Nimrod was born on this date as well, but obviously the devil's copying and mimicking God, so he would do that, obviously, as well, if that's the case. But yeah, I just find it interesting that it comes up Christmas Day 2027, potentially for the second coming, when we return with him. And also how I, had, I told you guys last time about my dream where I saw my cousins and then there was the Christmas stuff on the roof of my grandma's house. That could potentially line up with that in that regard. I don't know. Uh, all I know is the numbers seem to line up perfectly between these dates, starting with the Revelation 12 sign here. 923-2017, get you to 3-6-2021, 3-6-2020-21, get you to October 31st or 10-31-2024, 10-31-2024 gets you to September 7th, 2021, if you subtract the 11 50 for the sanctifying, which was Rosh Hashanah celebrated by Israel just this past year. And then if you're adding it, you're getting to December 25th, 2027. So just wanted to share all what I found with you guys. Say God bless you, praying for you, pray for one another, pray for this world. Uh, Still hope we're getting out of here this year and soon. I don't know, though. Uh, we could be going two more years, potentially, and so brace yourself if we are. Hate to be the bearer of bad news in that regard, if that's the case. However, like I said, we could be going at any time. Because time is short. The devil's time is short, and God's cutting the time short. So we could be leaving any time. All right, God bless you guys. Till next time, it's been Sonic720. Justin, take care.